Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube two channel and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different so, uh, from what I've been blogging lately. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Mexican rice. Sometimes uh, you might go to the restaurant and ask yourself, wow this is really good rice, I would like to learn how to make it. And today I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to get it done. And let's not lose any more time and let's do it. we are going to be using to make today's recipe. Right here I have two cups of rice, a little bit of oil, two tomatoes, half of onion, a little bit of cilantro, two garlic cloves, a little bit of salt, consmate basically right here, basically tomato cubes, you can get that at Walmart and a little bit of caldo de tomate. Um, you can get that at Walmart as well. We are wanting to pour three cups of water on the blend on the blender cup. And the reason why is because I'm using two cups of rice, so you always want to have a little bit more uh, water um, of the rice that you have. So the second thing that we're gonna do, we are gonna chop our tomatoes. small pieces so that way we can put it inside the blender because at the end of the we are going to right here tomato grab another tomato we're gonna cut it small pieces. Remember, just be careful where you, when you're using a knife, where you don't cut yourself. You don't have to be fast. Just have to make sure it's a small pieces, so that way it's a, it's easier for the blender to do the job. After that, you want to get the half of the onion and you want to cut it in half. Four pieces. For like I say, it's easier. Um, you also want to get the two garlic cloves and put them in there. One chicken cube. There's <laughs> tomato cube, excuse me. And two of those. And a little bit of a cow or tomato. Usually put a little bit of salt, not all of it. Because uh, you gotta be really, really careful with the salt that you put in. Okay, once you have all your ingredients mixed on the blender, you wanna take into the blender. And you can put a little bit of um, cilantro and you are wanting to completely put it all together. You want to get a little bit of oil and you want to pour it into a pan. Because now what you are going to do you are going to kind of fry your rice. You're not going to let it fry completely, but you want to get uh, let it get a little bit uh, brown. So when my oil is a little bit hot, I'm going to pour the rice completely. And I'm going to be kind of uh, moving it with this spoon so that way um, until it gets brown. Right now, I'm going to be putting the rice. Into the pan. Make sure you get it all. And 
and you are gonna kind of do the fire on, on high and you wanna basically move it so it gets the the oil and already getting a little bit uh, brown and this is a sound that you want to hear when the rice is cooking you just keep moving it making and make sure it doesn't get stick to the pan After you uh, start seeing it with the consistency that you want it, um, you are going to start putting the water in. Make sure it's getting uh, put a little higher. This smells really good. It smells really, really good. Okay. We'll leave it over there for at least five to seven minutes. Actually, it's brown. Okay, guys, the rice now have the consistency that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the water into it. It's gonna be a little bit of smoky. And I have basically three cups of water. So that way you rice. Mmm. What a smell, good smell. So you basically want your rice start cooking in there. So you're gonna keep Okay guys, now that your uh, rice is getting completely dry from the water that we put, what we are gonna do is we are gonna make sure we're gonna turn the heat down. We're gonna move it. Make sure it's, everything is good to go. And the way I do it, I put uh, all, all of foil on it. You don't have to do it like this. This is the way how to do it. Um, it helps. Um, to cook the rice faster and it helps with the evaporation so I'm gonna put this and I'm gonna let it cook for at least 20 minutes and in 20 minutes I'll be back showing you the results I'm gonna be showing you how it's looking be careful How it's looking, make sure we move it. Make sure you move it.
still not done, so I'm gonna let it in there uh, but about 12 more minutes. Make sure that it's completely done. And in 12 more minutes, I'll be taking it out of there. Completely done. How the rice turns. Perfect. The steam. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that color. Look at the color. The consistency. Oh my goodness. Wow, guys. Amazing. Let's serve a little bit. Look at that, guys. Look at the color of that rice. It smells really good. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of thing in there, and I'm gonna have a little avocado with it. Avocado uh, may. Um, let's try it. Mmm. It has really good flavor, really good color, and the consistency is pretty good. You can put a little bit of a car, you can put some carne asada with it. Um, and this is it, right? Mexican rice. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. And... I'll see you next time.